Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of Team Minds 365. In today's lesson, I'll be covering the key benefits and pricing information with Azure Sentinel. I wanted to share this slide first because I think it's important to understand some of the legacy SIM challenges. Traditional SIM tools have been created on-prem using physical infrastructure. With the adoption of cloud products, remote work, and now the introduction of IoT devices, having an on-prem server as a SIM is not very realistic because of the unpredictability of how much data you will need to ingest over a typical lifespan of a physical server. Can you truly predict how much data your company will need to ingest over the next three years? You need a solution that can scale as your data grows while minimizing overhead. Alert fatigue is another major concern. I mentioned this in another video, but a SIM should not be used like a data lake where you are just ingesting a ton of data points into one platform. With all the spare systems now in use, alert fatigue will quickly set in and it will take days or even weeks to normalize data on your own. Azure Sentinel is a cloud-native SIM, meaning that you don't have to provision any servers to get the service turned on. As I showed in a previous lesson, all you need to do is create a log analytics workspace and you're ready to start connecting data. Azure Sentinel follows the usage model so you can scale automatically and only pay for the data digestion coming through. I'll get to more of the pricing information here in a moment. Azure Sentinel allows you to connect your Office 365 data for free and has over 100 built-in connectors. This simplifies the initial setup and makes it so that you don't have to have a specialized expert to get the service working as expected. The AI and machine learning components are also critical to detecting new threats that come onto the landscape and normalizing data across platforms. Speaking of normalization, let's get into the final slide here on benefits. The ability for Azure to correlate alerts into incidents is a huge win for security operations teams. Being able to provide you with entire attack timeline across users, devices, IPs, and more is so powerful for you to be able to focus on being more proactive to more sophisticated security threats within your organization. Continuous monitoring across systems is another great benefit, which will only help the machine learning model going on to better detect anomalies in your environment. Correlating incidents is obviously a huge time savings that you can realize, but also by utilizing Azure Logic Apps, you can tap into the SOAR capabilities of Azure Sentinel as well. Logic apps allow you to perform automation playbooks from new alerts that occur within Sentinel, and they span across Microsoft as well as third-party products. Azure Sentinel's flexibility to connecting data from cloud services and on-prem really empowers your team to work out of a single portal versus disparate systems. Isolated views of security data may lead your teams failing to identify an existing attack campaign going on in your organization. Lastly, I think the customization that you have within Sentinel empowers you to cater the service to your environment. Configuring analytics for alerts, using watch lists for sensitive assets, creating new hunting queries are all examples of how you are able to tailor this solution. I believe that with these capabilities, your environment should only get better over time with detecting true threats within your organization versus false positives. In the final part of today's lesson, I briefly wanted to cover pricing. I did mention that the ingestion of data from Office 365 is free. I'm here on the Azure Sentinel pricing page for Microsoft to show you more about cost. Azure Sentinel is billed based off of the volume of data ingested for analysis in Azure Sentinel and it's stored in Azure Monitor Log Analytics Workspace. They offer two separate pricing models. The first is the commitment tiers that you see here where you're committing to a certain amount of gigabyte ingested per day at a fixed rate. This model allows more predictable pricing and it allows some potential savings over the second model, which is pay as you go. Pay as you go is just a flat $2.40 per gigabyte ingested. Your bill would essentially just be what you consumed in the previous month. While there are cost savings in the commitment model, there could be cases where you don't have close to 100 gigabytes of ingestion, so the pay as you go model would make more sense. That's all I wanted to cover in today's video on key benefits and pricing. Hope you enjoyed this course on Azure Sentinel and hope you at least try this out as they do have a trial that's offered for 30 days. Thanks guys. Have a great day.